Oof, it's literally like a summer's day out here today. It's boiling. This video today has got no structure to it. It's just a nice sunny day here in Romania. And I'm going to just see where the paths take me, basically. I don't know what else to do on a day like this. It's too nice to stay in, I know that much. Oh, mate, literally, I've just seen a rat run down there that is horrible it's pretty big as well if there's one thing i don't like right is rats and another thing i don't like is mosquitoes and they're all by the river it's not a good start to my walk i've only been out two minutes <laughs> i think the romanian rats have a little bit more presence than the ones in london what is it they say you're like one meter away from a rat at any given time the weird thing is you can never actually see them they're just going to be below you if you're in london but i remember one time i went to thailand there was a rat it was literally as big as a cat and that rhymed but it was true it was huge it put me off going out i remember i was on a night out drinking my buckets you get them big buckets in thailand I thought am i seeing something like double vision and this rat was huge and its tail was oh it, i'm telling you it's bigger than a cat cool story right what an absolute stunning day what i feel like doing right now is doing a little bit of training but this is as good as i can find at the minute for calisthenics pretty sure i can do a bit of training in this park it's got to be something i can do you just got to be innovative you know what i mean looks like there's some monkey bars <laughs> yeah i think i need to get some friends here in romania <laughs> i'm a loner <laughs> Getting on fit in my old years. <laughs> oh. A lot of people probably think, what is this bloke up to? <laughs> He's doing exercise in a park, cording rats running along by the river. But do you know what? If the sun's shining and you're in the fresh air and you're feeling healthy, that is the most important thing. Like anything else is a bonus. Um, I could go to the gym right now, but I don't want to be stuck indoors. And do you know what? I'm not going to justify myself. I'm just going to carry on. This bloke's happy. <laughs> Time for a break. So this video is sponsored by, how do we say it? <laughs> Capafian Mountain Water or Carpetica. I'm sure it's called Carpathian. It's not really sponsored by them. Just having a laugh. But what I will say is I genuinely love this water. It's full of all your five a days. All the crystals, liquids and minerals that you could ever wish for. I'm just chatting BS right now. But I do like that water. Here it's very cheap because obviously this water, I believe, is from the mountains in Romania. However, when I'm back home in the UK, I think it costs like £1.50 a bottle for this. Here it's about 40 pence a bottle. Should have probably warmed up before i had done this but you know what it's like you sometimes do stupid things these little feathers are having a nice feast i don't they've got crisps do you know what i love about pigeons yeah this is one thing a lot of people probably don't know but there's no pecking order they all share look at look how polite they are to each other and how caring they are if that was a seagull right it, it, you'd only see one you wouldn't see like five seagulls they'd be fighting by now this is why pigeons live forever <laughs> I actually like pigeons, even though people refer to them as flying rats, I think they're very intelligent. I've forgotten about the thing they do, they paint like the trees with this like white paint. Now I can't remember the reason for it, I'm pretty sure, is it to stop like disease or something? Someone remind me, I can't actually remember, I love no money, but there's a logical reason for it, it's not for decoration, I know that much. Mate, look at these little huts around here. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, no? Yeah, you can just sit there and chill out on the grass. So when the sun's beaming down, you literally ain't going to get a burnt head. It's pretty cool. I did for one minute think that they're sitting in a bus stop, <laughs> waiting for a bus. But trust me, there's no bus coming down this cycle lane. I've also never seen so many benches everywhere. Literally like, just bench after bench after bench. So I assume this is like an allotment, I believe, for flowers, private property. Not sure where the flowers are. Maybe, maybe they've died, but they're starting to grow now. I'm not too sure. I'll be honest. I ain't got a word for what that woman said, but I did say that the flowers she was planting were absolutely beautiful. Um, 
hope I made that day. I'm sure I did. I know I pay attention to the most pointless things yet, but I mean, look at that for a bit of advertising. Having a little bath down there, they are. Told you they're clever. Right, I'm gonna take a walk over this bridge and go and check this building out over there. And by the way, look how clear that water is. See a few tropical fish down there. Oh look, this is one of my favorite things to do. And that is cross the road in Romania. This is uh, the best example of crossing the road. No one tried to run me over. Perfect. That's actually a very nice church. I believe it's a church anyway. Obviously, I can't really go in there to start walking in, but it looks like they're re-turfing the, the lawns around it. It's amazing the effort and detail they put into some of these buildings, right? Uh, it's a lot hotter than I realised. I don't know what's happened here. If anyone's wondering what the Romanian post box looks like, there we have it. If you have a shot down this little road I'm walking down, I'm sure it's like a clothes shop but they look like second hand clothes so i'm assuming that majority of them are uh, charity shops you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plan something i'm gonna walk up to mushroom hill which is 54 minutes from where i am now right that's a four kilometer walk i keep talking about it i ain't gonna get there so i'm just gonna have to walk and just just walk basically who doesn't like a good old urban hike hey eh? up to mushroom hill <laughs> There's another funnel up there. As it's a cracking day, I'm just gonna walk. There's no point in getting a cab or a tram when it's like a lovely day like this. Who knows how long this sunshine's gonna last for as well. So I've got to make the most of it. There's your scrap metal, look. Hey, these streets are getting busy today. I only wanted some pizza. <laughs> yeah. I'm allowed in now. All this stuff is all over the floor. I was just walking past this restaurant. The sign was just on the floor. The bin was on the floor. I think like it just blown over or whatever. And I've gone in there. And I've got myself a pizza, a slice of pizza for five lays. It's not even, there's not even a pound for a slice of like freshly cooked pizza. Like what the hell? So I'm gonna take this up to Mushroom Hill. I don't think this has got mushrooms on it, unfortunately. So maybe I have to find some. This place repairs color TVs. Now, I hope he ain't repairing black and white TVs. I did see one of them huge ones through the window. Do you remember like the old widescreen and massive back ones that you'd need like three people to lift if ever you was to move it in your lounge. He's been a Tesco. I didn't know they had Tesco in Romania. I know they've got Tesco in Hungary. So that tells me that guy has been to Hungary. He's crossed the border and got his bag for life. And you could tell he's actually used that bag for life. Most people don't do that. I went to a little island once called Gozo uh, near Malta. It's a tiny little island. It's quite like, it feels quite derelict there. It, it seems a bit like that here, these little, but with a lot more people. It's actually very nice architecture. Like, even if it's not perfect, I like quirkiness like this. Don't like quirkiness like that though. Someone's gone down the side of his car. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be so tempted to just walk over that bridge. Like, there's nothing stopping you literally walking over it. I don't know for what reason you'd want to do it, but it just looks quite, um, looks quite inviting. <laughs> Nearly got one over. I'll tell you what, it'd be very fun if I had my Yamaha over here, my little QT. I'll be whizzing around these roads. It's gonna be minus 10 the time I get here to Mushroom Hill. I love this ancient old architecture. Like, that's one thing I do enjoy about Europe and love about it. It's got some character. These new modern buildings that are getting thrown up left, right and centre, they just don't do it for me. I like old buildings that are falling apart. What's that there? Is that like a pigeon's like home or something? A few little pigeon nests at the top of the roof there. For any builders back home that are on my channel, there's a little glimpse of a Romanian building site. I've just gone into the shop to get myself a can of coke and I, it just dawned on me that actually i'm eating very healthy today a nice slice of pizza with a can of coke you know i suppose my walk warrants the healthy eating today right this area is actually really nice it's just getting nicer and nicer like this 
road up here you've got all these lovely trees and brick houses look at this little place isn't it just nice i think sat nav is telling me to go down up this way the only thing i don't like about sat navs is the fact that obviously when you're following them you sort of feel like you're zoned into the sat nav and not necessarily your surroundings but obviously i'm not driving so it's not as bad today but you get the gist mate this road speaks money it's got that nice tarmac you know that you always know when you're in a nice place it's got like a nice pavement just trying out new shots <laughs> i always laugh here at vloggers you know when they uh they film themselves walking like past the camera like they're on like a trek but they put the camera behind them they walk past it <laughs> and then <laughs> and then they have to obviously go back to pick the camera up i know it's all for the audience yeah but come on that's just wasting time like i don't really want to walk past my camera right stop the shot and then walk back to it i'm too lazy for that <laughs> right we'll do another take of this oh actually no i've got to go back and pick my camera up <laughs> <laughs> oh dear you tell me i've got too much time on my hands today now that's a nice bit of architecture i like it they do like their churches over here and i'll tell you what what a lovely building I'd be interested to know what era that's from, but it looks like it doesn't look that old. But then again, it's been well taken care of, right? I suppose the weather isn't too bad here. You know, they don't suffer from salty air and water like we do in the UK. So that's probably why it's still standing in such nice condition. It's proper vibesy around there. It gives me that Kensington and Chelsea feel. I feel like I am in the proper money area. This is like the, the London or Kensington and Chelsea area of Romania right now. Right, now the fight begins. I'm at the bottom of the hill. I need some water before I make a start on this. This is hard work. <laughs> right, so at the top of this road will be Mushroom Hill. Well, this may well be Mushroom Hill on the way to the top. Health and safety is very important in Romania. I think that's a, is it a gas pipe? It looks like a gas pipe to me. Might just trip over that as you're stumbling down the hill drunk, no? Hang on a minute, how did my camera get there? I could have just walked past you and made it look like I didn't put it there. Hey, these are nice little houses, these. Garage underneath with the house on top. That's like my ideal sort of home, that. Having something with a garage, so obviously you can keep all your toys in it underneath and then have your house on top. We still got all that way up there. I tell you what, this is a lovely residence around here. You've even got a caravan stealth camping in one's driveway. No, but on a serious, look at the view in the distance. All right, I'm at the top and this is like the final stretch. There's like a restaurant here, but the most important thing about the top of this place is the view. I'm not here for no restaurant today, just the view to eat my pizza and drink my Coca-Cola. So you can see over Aradia, like the whole city, pretty much in a 360 if you are to go over that side of the hill i think you can see a bit more but you know what i'm like i go for the best bits only let's go all the way around to the other side show you what it looks like from here look at that what a view this is a lovely view up here this is the sort of view i like because there's a lot to look at i mean i do enjoy obviously like fields and stuff like that and green spaces but it does make a change to see like a whole city or most of the city from one point um in my opinion it makes a change it's very nice but the only disappointment with up here is i ain't found any mushrooms yet even a lovely little spot that where i can sit on my own because i've got no friends <laughs> and enjoy my pizza and coke now then let me show you the pizza that i've got from the pizza place it's gonna probably look battered now because it's been roaming around in my bag but look this is what i got for a pound no under a pound this was what was it five lay so i don't know 80 90 pence have a look at that and look we've even got a uh, little sheet to keep it in that says pofta buna now pofta buna means enjoy your meal and let me tell you, mm, 
That is a decent slice of pizza. I like it. It's even got a load of ketchup on it as well. And for those of you wondering, it's got like cured ham on it and cheese and unfortunately no vegetables. Bread, ham and cheese. And a week's worth of serviettes. Uh, this is the sort of place actually where you can come to the car park with your car, watch the sunset, right? Have a nice romantic evening when the sun's coming down. Um, have a bunk up. I mean, have a lovely, nice chilled one, you know, have a beer or something if you're not driving, of course. And, and just take in the scenery <laughs> of a radiard. This is the car park area, and then obviously, got that like, viewpoint there as well. Now, I think I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button because like I said in my last video, I'll try and make more pointless videos like this one. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below whether or not you've been to Mushroom Hill or it's one of your life missions to come here and check it out. But in all seriousness, it was a good walk. I enjoyed it. Um, there's lots of nice houses to look at on the way. And of course, you've got this beautiful scenery taking breathtaking views of the city um but that's as much info as i can give you about mushroom hill i didn't find any mushrooms but i did enjoy making this video because when the sun's out and it's hot and it's nice and it's just what more can you ask for you know um thanks for watching and you can also check my instagram out at tube darren now what I'm going to do with Instagram is I don't really post on there. I'm going to start posting a little bit more. Anyway, see you soon for the next one. Oh shit, I forgot my camera. Oh no, not that again.